You take a person that hasn't eaten for five days, right? Someone that came out of a concentration camp back in World War II, um, or someone that's just like, you know, like what, like I was in ranger school, 70 days depleted, not eating anything else. You give them a steak, it, it disappears from the earth. He eats it everything, the bone, everything that's there, it just, just takes it down. You take someone that's comfortable on the couch, lives a cush life, you know, pen, pencil pusher, whatever else, four or five meals a day, whatever else, nice wines, everything else. You know, you give them that same meal, they'll probably cut the fat off here. They might pull a tomato off, they don't like the taste of that or whatever else. Very picky eaters there, because why? Because, you know, they, the food is always there. So therefore, they can afford to be picky. Taking somebody that hasn't had food for a while, that's starving, well, that mentality is they eat everything. Your body's that same way. When you get down to a low body fat, guys, your body feels like it's in the red, even though it's desired upon visually. And what we see every day is like, oh, that guy's in shape and everything else because he's a 5% body fat as opposed to somebody who's like a 30% body fat. It's like, oh, that guy's a fucking lazy fuck, right? That's what they're kind of thinking. Well, the body's mentality to it is that if you're a low percent body fat, even though it's aspiring and, 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 and very well um, delivered to a third party, the internal body's like, man, we're, we're like in the red right now, man. We gotta watch out, man. We need to conserve everything we have. That person in the 5% body fat, low body fat, right, is that person that hasn't eaten for a while, coming out of a concentration camp, or me in ranger school. When you eat something in that state, they, they, they use every single piece of it. They're not picky eaters. They take everything that's there and make value of it leaving zero excess remaining because they don't know when the next food's coming in or whatever else. So they make use of everything that's there. Taking somebody on the other stream, the person on the couch, the, the person that eats whatever he wants and very picky eater. The mentality of that digestion system is that they'll eat what they want here and there and then they store the rest. It's a very lazy digest, digestural system. So as they keep storing, they're getting fatter and fatter and fatter. What I'm trying to say, guys, is a person that's hungry, you know, makes use of everything. When you're at low body fat, your body's designed to absorb, to eat everything, to, to make use of everything. Turning lemons into lemonade kind of fucking mentality. Or if you're cush, you know, and you have all this excess body fat, it's a different mentality of the internal digestion kind of code where it only uses what it wants, picky and everything else, stores this. You know, it, it, it's a very um, unperforming employee kind of thing. Why I bring that up? We've all seen these things called rice, rice cakes, right? Rice cakes, and you see the girls in competitions or whatever else that's trying to diet down, they're eating these things, because their bodies, you know, like they're hungry. They're not hungry, it's that their mental capacity of what they're used to eating was this. But now there's health problems, you know, um, you know the, the, the heart problems, uh, you know, they, they look like shit, they can't get a date or the guy can't get laid, whatever it may be, there's a cause and effect to everything. So the people that are out of shape or whatever else, so much so that they have health problems, right? They're, they're forced against their will that if you don't shape up and start eating right, what's going to happen is the end of your life, literally. So they're forced to go on this diet and they hate it because they're so used to eating this way. So they feel like they're starving, but they're really not starving. It's just they're used to another mentality. So they're eating these rice cakes and everything else and they hate it and everything else. Um, and, and life is very painful for them. Is their body absorbing everything? It's, no, it's still the fat mentality. So even though eating these things and everything else, the rice cakes and trying to eat right, the body still has so much excess storage of energy, it's not in that red zone that if you're somebody training hard every day, getting up, eating what your body needs, you know, eating before the workout, right after the workout, you know, if you're not working out the day, you're eating less, so you're eating around your activities as opposed of a lazy person that just eats for the sociality of eating, different mindsets, different directions, different results. One is risking health problems. Looks like shit, no one wants to say hello to them. The other one is performing kicking ass on top of their field. Where is the self-discipline here? Because this life over here, the person I said coming out of a concentration camp or me at ranger school, 
you know, that's extreme cases. Somebody in shape, a low body fat, once they get there, their body uses everything. So these people that go around eating rice cakes, you know, or these people at the gym that have like a gallon of fucking water with them and five meals and Tupperware that are prisoners to the meal because they have no life. They're carrying around all this food and water as if there's going to be some shortage or some earthquake happening that, hey, we're preparing for the end of the world here. Like, what's going on here? We're missing the message. You know, we're in the gym working out, man. It, it, it's, the, it's the means to the ends, not the ends. The way you guys are going about it is all wrong. I bring that up because these protein cakes we're gonna do is a healthier version of what this is. We're still gonna use this. It's still gonna be a, a, almost 100% carb free, but we're gonna actually give something. We're not gonna trick the body in thinking there's a substance there. We're gonna give the body what it needs. And if you actually do the work in the gym, and you're burning more calories if you guys are overweight, and you go into a, you know, there's a deficit and a surplus caloric intake. If you go into a deficit um, calorie intake, your body will burn more of its natural energy source, AKA fat. You'll slowly start to bring that down. Once you bring it down and you get in single digit body fat, then your body's efficient. You literally can eat what you want. You can have the fucking cake and eat it too. I shit you not. These people, they eat these rice cakes and stuff, and I see these girls and the gorgeous girls and they're getting for competitions and they're, 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 they're so controlled by the diet and everything else. Well, they're going for a photo shoot and they come into the photo shoot and I'm doing a cover with them. They're like falling down the week and, you know, because they either crammed it, because it's not really who they are, they don't really live in that philosophy. You know, that's not every day for them. They're doing it to be someone, to trick somebody thinking that they are in shape or they're gonna do a cover because they are a fitness model, but they don't live the fitness mentality lifestyle. Because for me, I've been on the covers more than anybody else, consistently living this way. I have fun, I go out, I have a good time here, eat what I want here there, I train hard. It's because my body is that person coming out of the concentration camp that if you put a steak in front of him, he doesn't just eat the steak, he eats the fat, the grit, the fucking bone, and makes use of it. But if I wasn't living that mentality every day, training hard and eating for, you know what my body needs, to satisfy the need of the body, not the, the, the taste buds of the tongue. If that's my mentality, I can't lose. But if I'm on the other side of the fence, guys, where you're trying to cram to be someone you're really not, then it is all work. You are that person out of shape. That the doctor says you have to change now, where you won't have time to change anymore. That you become a servant of your actions. A servant meaning you're forced to go against your will. But up until that point, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, the flags have been rising, but you haven't taken notice. You just do what you want always, always. And then you're forced to go against your will, otherwise perish. And you're like, life sucks and everything else. It goes back to the same philosophy. Do we take today as the most valuable asset? Or do we invest our efforts today on the possibility of greatness tomorrow. All thinking, guys, all thinking before any, any kind of action. Just like in the gym, we think about it. We're a student of the game before we're ever a player of the game. Eating is the same way. You have to understand the philosophy mentally, how the biochemistry of the body works. Don't just eat because you're hungry. Don't eat because it's lunch hour, your coworkers, hey, it's lunch break, let's go eat. Why, why? Just because it's Saturday night doesn't mean you have to go fucking get drunk. All these things are society's rhymes telling you how to act because you're too weak to take charge of yourself. All right, back to this cookbook, guys. I get a little irritated, long-winded, cameraman shaking a little bit, holding, and he's like, fuck, man, how long is this gonna be? I should've got a tripod.